So here's how the NSI Romex Splice Kit works. We're gonna go ahead and install a half on each side and then those will clip together to complete the circuit. Now you'll see they have these little forks. Those actually pierce the insulation and make contact between that fork terminal and your actual copper within your conductors. That is not what I love, but that is the design of these splice kits. And the testing will show us if that increases the resistance and causes a lot of heat, which might lead to failure. Now, one thing I didn't do, you can leave your hot conductors a quarter inch longer than your ground and your neutral, but I'm cutting back the insulation and really you don't have to strip your wires. Remember, we're going to press them in and the forks will pierce the insulation, making contact between the terminals and the copper in the conductors. So the way you do this, you just take your pliers and not too aggressively pinch that top casing on. And then there's a little cradle that presses that wire on each one of the forks. And then the screws actually do not go through the clear side, they go through the white housing side to make sure it pulls everything together and it's tight. Once you have that, all you have to do is plug each side together and you have your completed circuit. Now let's compare that to the UK's version, this quick wire splitter, which has a really cool design. And although it is not made for the US market, you can see wire gauges are in 2.5 millimeters squared. That's gonna be cross-sectional area, similar to 14 gauge. So we can use the 14.2 for demonstration purposes, but hopefully Quickwire and the NEC will get together soon and approve this guy. And the insulation could not be easier. The nice thing is you actually are able to cut out a section of the wire, which can be a lifesaver if you do not have any slack. And then you'll use the Quickwire wire strippers because it both can take off the jacket here which we're stripping off 22 millimeters or almost one inch of the outside jacket. And here in the US, we have this paper cover that I have to remove. In UK, they do not. Now with the paper removed, we'll take the same wire strippers, just line the edge of the jaws there up with the jacket, and that will take off the exact amount of insulation from the hot and neutral. Now I'll pull off the insulation and we're ready to go. So now we'll line up the L is actually live. That's gonna line up to our black wire or hot wire. And it is literally as easy as making sure they're straight, line them up, and then just press them into each side until you hear the click and they're fully seated. And that is it. That is what makes this such a cool design. It is so easy to install. It is secure and just a really neat design. Now there is a release tool. So if you ever need to service this, it's really easy to remove the wires and they're reusable. Really You're not damaging your wires. You can easily put them right back in, press it and go back to business. I'm always curious to see kind of what is inside of these outlets or these different connectors like this. So we'll take off these little detents so we can open things up. And once we see inside, there's kind of two halves. The one half has these forks here. We can see the contacts on the left-hand side. And then the other half, we're gonna open up. The right-hand side, we're gonna open up a little bit more because those forks are critical to the design. So opening these up, then through the clear housing, each one of these wires has this small little lever on top and bottom, which would be pressed into those forks and pressed down onto the conductor. Now, come on, is that not just a way better design? Let me know down in the comments. I want to get your feedback. Put approved if you think the NEC should approve this type of wire splice within the US so we can fix that damaged Romex buried in the wall and it is maintenance free or not approved and why you do not like the design. Either way, I wanna hear your feedback.